well, why is the rim brake not dead? And when I mean by dead, people are still talking about rim brakes. And I don't mean people like me who really just a nobody, but I'm talking about big channels like GCN and pros like Chris Froome. And we even have some of the pros still opting to ride them in some races or in some stages. So why has disc brake not just rolled over rim brakes and basically they're six feet under? Well, I think the reason is a number of different reasons. And one of the reasons is there's people who still, <laughs> my hat's uh, not straight, there you go, guys. So people who are annoyed about my hat being a bit crooked, it's fixed. Yeah, I think it's a number of reasons. And I would say that it's people like me, like small channels that are still talking about rim brakes. And there's a lot of people who still want to hear about rim brakes or still interested in rim brakes. And this is why it's just hanging around and some manufacturers are still persisting to make them because they're not 100% convinced that people have made the transition to disc brakes. And of course, there's a number of direct manufacturer companies that are still making very, very good quality rim brakes. Now, I think the biggest problem is, is that people are still obsessed with weight. Probably not obsessed is the word, but weight is a concern and when they're spending a lot of money on a bike they want it to be light it's always been a thing oh you know if someone goes oh that's an expensive bike and they pick it up and feel how light it is and people don't want heavy bikes and when we're getting up to eight kilos people see that as being heavy and you've got all these electronic shifting gears and everything and disc brakes and the weight just just creeps up whilst if a rim brake it can be very very simple you can have mechanical systems and the weight can be considerably lighter than the UCI weight. I think the other reason why they persisted is that there is still some pros that obviously are being pretty vocal about wanting to use rim brakes or still use rim brakes on certain stages. And they find that that bike just feels a little bit more agile or climbs just a little bit better. And they believe that that is enough of an advantage to change out that bike for that part of the race or that stage or that race. And this is obviously keeping people talking about rim brakes. And the one thing that really shocked me is just a few days ago, we had GCN basically do how to service rim brake video. Now, people might say, oh yeah, but a lot of people still got rim brakes. But you've got to understand GCN is not just a channel like mine where they're just reviewing stuff and putting information up and it's what, what I, I feel is a good subject to do or I think is a good product to do. GCN is the face of the marketing of all the companies. They have all of the, the, the big makes on there and putting a video up about rim brakes does not help it does not help promote the industry as far as the manufacturers go because they go, hang on, hang on a sec, uh, we're really, really moving away from that technology. We want you to be talking about disc brakes, not rim brakes. And it kind of is just taking a nail out of that coffin where they're just about to put the rim brake in the ground and cover it up and bury it. And it's just holding that process. It's like as if we're... we're Rim brakes are kind of dead, but they just can't get the coffin in the ground. They just can't really bury it completely because they just keep hanging around and people just keep talking about it and people still want to hear about what people have got to say about rim brakes. And I personally feel that the, the other issue is is that the manufacturers have not been able to perfect the disc brake bike. Yeah, they've got it to work and everything like that, but... People expect something to work when they're paying that sort of money really perfectly and they kind of don't. They kind of, they're noisy. If the manufacturer hasn't quite got the frame right or the mountings are not right or something's just not been assembled correctly, they're so, they're so fussy that then they play up. Well, if you've got a perfect frame and they're mounted perfectly and they're all set up and all the surfaces are faced and everything like that, then yeah, they can work 100%. But because they're so finicky and it's so important that the hubs are made correctly, that the frames are made correctly and everything's fitted correctly, of course, we get more errors 
associated with the, the working of the brake because it may not be specifically the brake, but the frame or the hub or something else has to be so critically made. And if they're not made perfectly, then the disc brakes give problems. And I think this is what's holding disc brakes back. The manufacturers just can't get the precision in the components to consistently make the disc brakes work consistently like from, from basically bike to bike to bike. You know, there might be two or three people that get a good one and then you'll get like the fourth person who'll have problems and another two or three people will have the disc brakes to be fine. Then the, you know, the eighth one will have a problem. It's a fight, quite a high percentage of people that have issues with their disc brakes and this is really a fawn in the manufacturer's side. Well, in conclusion, we all know Wayne Hodes is a rim brake lover, but I do like to be objective, and I have pointed out on many videos, disc brakes do have a lot of advantages. And, of course, if, you, if you're if you riding them and also you've got arthritis or something like that, disc brakes are wonderful because you they give you that, that hydraulic power, that feel there, so you don't have to pull the levers as hard. So they feel really nice when you ride, and also the consistency between dry weather and wet weather is the same whilst with a rim brake generally there's some sort of difference that you need to compensate in your riding for that like they might lag before they grip or you're not getting quite as much ultimate performance or you get that kind of slushy feel until the rims clean and then they start to break and they do vary between pads and rims how they how they vary between the dry and the wet so that's a real negative for the rim brakes but the disc brakes, the problem with them is, is one, they're heavier, and two, the, the frame, the hub, and the, rot and the actual brakes themselves have to be made with much higher tolerances to get them to work correctly. And that is the issue. We've seen it. We've seen that the, the a hub that's not perfectly round where the disc is slightly going like this, you just can't get the disc to work. If the frame's not been made properly and the surface is not per is perfectly perpendicular to the rotor where the caliper goes on and it's not faced then again they won't work so we have mechanics now having to do more work to fit the disc brakes and the frames still are not up to scratch the manufacturers are not making the frames accurate enough for every single bike that comes out and disc brakes fitted to them work so we get you know you might get three guys that have got disc brakes and they go oh, i haven't got any problems and then the fourth one will go Mine, I just can't stop it rubbing. And I think this is the problem. There's, there's too much of a higher percentage of them where, it, where the, the problem with the disc brake not working correctly is caused to the tolerances not being good enough. So that is a big problem in the bicycle industry as a whole. We, we know that and we know Hambini has identified that also as less year technique. Those two people have shown that the quality control on a lot of these bikes is pretty mediocre or not ideal, as Rail would say. So leave your comments down below. How do you think this can be resolved in the future? And do you think that rim brakes are going to continue to be a fawn in disc brake side? We're still going to see the pros picking them up every now and again, or we might even see some sort of manufacturers moving back to making more rim brake bikes. I hope so because I do like riding rim brakes and I think that disc brakes are a complication on a bike that's not really necessary. Rim brakes work fine. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. And remember to smash, smash, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below because that'll be really, really appreciated. And I'll see you next vid. Cheers.